stupid or foolish here. We know what we're dealing with. We have gone through the documentation. So when we ask you questions about direct procurement, please answer. This is a very emotive issue, and don't give me that smirk. Respond to the issue. We've got so many other issues where you are directly involved. And then now the icing on the cake, you end up firing an individual because of that contract. Number two, you disregard that there are institutions here in this country which has been set up to be able to follow every single step that you make. Mr. Board Chairman, can you tell us also about the 15 million which a company that had won that contract had paid and was later reimbursed that money? I'm finished. And we have the evidence. You know, it's, it sounds good or even convincing when you make a statement like that. But if you had asked me to produce that email instead of relying on leaked documents, I would have produced it to you. And if you are a lawyer, which I don't know whether or not you are a lawyer, and read that email, you would understand the position I am taking. And I stand with that email. You can read it to try to twist the contents of it, but you'll be wasting everybody's time. If you had asked me for it, like I said, instead of waiting for it to be leaked to you, I would have given it to you because I have it. And I wrote it with my eyes open. What you need to understand, or what the country needs to understand, is that we are building a warehouse. And we gave a contract, or we, we floated a, a tender for the racking of that warehouse. And that it was an international tender and that many tenderers came out and tendered for that wax. And the board had a meeting, passed a budget for it. We, have, we had a budget for it for 1.1 billion shillings. That's what you need to understand. And so I'm giving you the information because like I said, it's if you, instead of relying on leaked documents, you had asked for the true position. I would have given it to you. Chair, proceed. There is no reason to sensationalize Chair, an issue. Chair, on a point of order. Uh, unless, uh, listen, it's, it's I mean, the board you, you are either, to be you are either going to get people an answer here. or you're not order, going to get an answer. Order, see you. There's a, there's a point of order that has Chair, been raised. Chair, point of order. Yes. We will not going to allow the chair of the board to lecture people here. If he's asked a question, you need to respond to it. To the chair. Okay, kindly, kindly. Because kindly, what we are let's, seeing let's, is let's trying to time. build yeah. another scenario where he is trying to... Uh, escape the question that are more obvious to him than using that he's a lawyer, now we want to bring other jargons. We are just asking you because before you said that you are not directly involved in procurement, why were you writing this letter if you're not involved? Can, if you, if, if, if only if you allow me to answer that question, kindly, kindly, you get the answer with, if you don't question. interrupt me. Because you must understand like I said, that this was a tender that was opened and a company won the tender. The company won the tender and another company that had tendered went to PPRAO, the board, to contest that tender. And that board made a decision. If you understand procurement laws, there's a period within which you appeal against the decision of the board. If there is no appeal, then the, 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 the tendered position becomes the tendered position. So the question I'm raising in that email, and, and do not try to confuse Kenyans that I'm trying to interfere with the board, with a, with a, with a procurement, because just, I said... Just on a point of order, Chair. I said, I said, on a point you know, of order, Chair, you're a, you're a former senator, you understand point of orders. My issue is very basic and very specific. In your earlier submissions, you stated clearly that the board is not involved in procurement. What business do you now have trying to lecture us on procurement laws and you directing through an email that that contract be signed latest by noon? What? If you do not have any role, if you, if you want to say that you're an angel and you, don't, you only give directions, you only appro approve the procurement 
right. uh, plan. Madam what? Sh no, I'm on the point of order. Just wait. You will answer. The guilty are always afraid. Of course. If there's nothing you are afraid of, just take your time. And I'm glad you admitted. He said, of, of course. If you have got nothing to hide, board chair, then you respond to the questions without trying to point a finger. And if you say that maybe the information you have 